In this video I'm going to discuss percentages, fractions and ratios. So to start with, in terms of percentages, the simplest way to think about this is if we have a chocolate bar with 100 pieces, one piece of that chocolate bar is 1%. 5 pieces, 5%, 25 pieces, 25%. So I think you get the, the picture there. So the key really to working out percentages is to start by breaking whatever you have uh, into 100 pieces. So if we divide what we have by into 100 pieces, that's 1%. So let's take the example of 600 marbles. 15% of them are blue. So how many actual marbles are blue? So 1% of that is 600 divided by 100 is 6. So 6 marbles represents 1% of the collection. 15 times 6 is 90, so 90 marbles are blue. That's 15% of the 600. In terms of fractions then, if we want to work out the fraction of, of something, so if we wanted the fraction of blue ones or whatever it might be, we need to have the amount, so the number that we're interested in, divided by the total in the set. So let's explain this again with the chocolate bar. One piece is a hundredth, 1 over 100. Or if you write that as a decimal, it's 0 0.01. 5 pieces is 5 over 100. You can simplify that to 1 over 20. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.04. 25 pieces, 25 over 100. That can be simplified to 1 over 4. It can also be written as a decimal, which is 0 0.25. Okay, in terms of the marble example then, 30 of them are red, so what fraction of the marbles are red? So it's 30 over 600, that can be simplified to 1 over 20. Now we can convert between fractions and percentages using the equation shown here. So percentage equals fraction times 100%. And we can go back the other way as well, so we can convert a percentage into a fraction by dividing the percentage by 100%. So, in the marble example, 4% of them are green. What fraction of the marbles are green? So we have 4% divided by 100%. The percentages cancel out, so it's 4 over 100. We can simplify that to 1 in 25. Um, another example, 1 in 6 are, of the marbles are clear. So what percentage of them are clear? So we multiply the fraction by 100%. We've got 16.7% of the marbles being clear. Now, ratios then are just another way of expressing fractions, believe it or not. So let's see how this works. So if we have a bag of 50 sweets containing aniseed boil balls, bonbons and caramels in the ratio 2 to 3 to 5, A to B to C is 2 to 3 to 5, okay? And now the fraction of A, to work this out, we have to have the number of A from the ratio and add up all the other numbers. So that is 2 over 5. The 2 comes from the fact that uh, 2 is the ratio of A in relation to the others and the 10 comes from adding up 2 plus 3 plus 5. Okay, fraction of B works the same way except it's B divided by this total here, A plus B plus C. So it's 3 over 10. Uh, fraction of C is again it's the, the number C from the ratio divided by the total, which is 5 over 10, and that simplifies to a half. Okay, so the amount of A, so the number of, of A, is the fraction times the total. So a fifth times 50 is 10. The amount of B is the fraction of B times the total. So 3 over 10 times 50, that's 15. The amount of C is the fraction times the total, so this time it's 25. Another example then is 150 sweets that containing bears, rings, fried eggs, hearts, cola bottles in the ratio 2 to 4 to 3 to 1 to 5. So how many bears are there? So first of all we need the fraction of B, so that's worked out from B divided by all of these numbers added together, so it's 2 divided by 15. 2 because the ratio for bears is 2 there and then when we add up all of these numbers together we get 15. 
The amount of B is the fraction times the total. So 2 over 15 is the fraction of B. 150 sweets in total in the bag. Multiply those together, we get 20. So that's been a brief video to introduce the concepts of percentages, fractions and ratios and how they relate to each other.